Hey guys, it's John Rania from Lagos University and in this video, I'll share with you guys how I lost a couple of millions when I was starting as an entrepreneur and how I was able to come back, okay, and learn from that mistakes. Again, muli po, this is John Rania from Lagos University and today, pag-usapan natin, what are the three things that you should consider before you even quit your job? So again, I'm talking about those people who are a full-time employee and probably doing some side businesses and uh, they are like, you know, 50-50, when or how or should I quit na ba my, my full-time job and uh, went full-time in this business because as I've told you guys earlier in the introduction, I made that this, uh, made the same mistake, okay? I'm gonna give you some insights, what happened to me and then what you can learn from it, okay? So... Several years ago, I uh, got a chance to uh, um, have a consulting business while I have a full-time job. Consulting meaning I build websites, uh, all those things for uh, different clients, okay? And I've been doing that actually since I was uh, 2000, uh, 2000, year 2000, 2001. I've been building a website for different uh, corporations, right? So it's something that I always have with me even when I migrated in Canada. So... But anyways, going back to the story. So, ganun po nangyari sa akin. There was this one client. I was able to secure that client. And I made uh, over a million uh, just for that what one client alone. And at that time, I cannot really wait. I have a, I still have a full-time job back then. Okay? And I can't wait to become a full-time entrepreneur. Kasi yun talaga yung pangarap ko. Right? So, I was young. I was so excited about it. Okay? Uh, but that's what happened is I got too excited because once I have that in my bank account, you know, yung feeling mo nakala mo ang laki-laki ng pera, right? <laughs> Until you realize na when you start yung day-to-day -day life mo, you start to realize na hindi pala napakalaki ng pera na yun. But anyway, so, so that's what happened. I got too excited. And um, during the time, I have uh, my firstborn son. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's still young. So in, in other words, I was just starting my family. And because out of my, yung emotion mo is so high, you got too excited, you were also frustrated with your job and these, the limitations in the corporate world and the 8 to 5 job, limited time, limited money. So I said, you know what, I'm going to quit my job. And that's it. Without really thinking too much, without planning plan B, plan C. Again, I was young. Okay, I'm just like, I just want to become an entrepreneur. So, ganun po yung nangyari sa akin. So obviously, yung one million, it's it's not a lot. Of obviously, it depends on lifestyle mo. But uh, for me, it wasn't. Not, it, I don't think it even lasts for for uh, six months or seven months. I can't remember. But yung po ang nangyari sa akin, and um, because of that, na abilis nga na yung pera, and I don't want to go back to employment. And uh, I have after, other than that money, I still have some savings. So na ubus din po lahat yon. And then to a point even that I max out my two credit cards and then another line of credit from the bank. And I was like in a deep, 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 deep trouble. <laughs> okay? Literally, bone sa utang mga kapatid. And it is something that I'd like to share with people because I don't want other people to, to feel the same way too. Right? I don't want them to experience the same thing that 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 what happened to me okay so here are a couple of things that you you when 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 thinking if you should if should you you know magquit ba ako or maybe you know i gonna keep my job okay one thing first is you must know if you're in a business you must know how to market and sell your product or your services Okay? So, kung nagsisimula ka palang negosyo and then may bumili sa'yo, pero kamag-anak mo naman or nanay mo naman or kapatid mo naman, that's not probably considered marketing and selling. Okay? Because baka bumili lang sila, sila sa'yo dahil nahihiya lang sila. Okay? Or ayaw nila masaktan yung feeling mo. So, something that you need to think about. So, ibig sabihin, you have to sell it to to really strange people. I mean, uh, stranger rather. Right? From stranger people that don't 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 know you personally right so have that thing and uh, have to be clear how you how are you going to sell your product or services because any negotiate guys it doesn't matter how good your product is how good your services is pag hindi mo kayang ibenta yan magugutom ka wala kang negosyo in other words okay so that's the thing okay number 2 once you figure that out is how can you make that consistent? Because that's what happened to me. I closed the deal 
via a, a meetup or network uh, networking. I uh, I um, we met in a in a business uh, uh, what do you call this event, and you know we exchanged cards. He likes what I do, and said he needs help. Okay, so here we go. So there you go. Simple as that. So ganon po yung The problem, okay, referrals and meeting face to face is very good. The problem is not scalable. Okay, and another thing for the referrals is you don't know when it will come again. That's a problem. So that's the second advice to you guys is before you even quit your job, you should know consistently where your leads or customers or clients will be coming from. San ba sila manggagaling? Okay. Again, you need consistent because the problem lang naman sa pagninegosyo compare sa employees, is yung consistency, right? But if you know when and how money will come into your business, then business will be so much, so much easier. Okay, so that's my advice for uh, number two. Number three, my third and last advice for you is before you even quit your job, you should really know, honest to goodness, how much money you are making, how much your business is making, and how much you personally making. Again, common mistake by small businesses, which is ganun din po ako. When initially, right, kung anong kita ng negosyo ko, yun ang kita ng bank personal account ko. Okay. And that is not, should not be the, the case. Your business should be separate to your personal. Okay? Because otherwise, if you will be, say, kung connected sila, then you will be spending too much on your personal. Uh, you're spending too much personally. Then it will drain your business, uh, yung cash flow sa business mo, and your business will die. Okay, and I believe that's not what you wanted. I, I believe that for most of you, you're not here for business to make kumita lang ng extra kita. Look, kung kailangan mo lang ng extra kita, get another job. Kung yun ang gusto mo. Okay, what I teach to people is business that will give them more time, more money, and more freedom. Okay, and there's no shortcut to this. Okay, there's no like, you know, just join, sign up ka lang rito, and boom, right? It is a process of building a business from scratch. So those are the three that I uh, highly, highly recommend that the, before you even quit your job, you really have to sit down and think about this. Most especially, if you have family, if you have kids that you are raising, okay, because they depend on you. Kung mas bata ka, if you're single, yeah, you can probably take more risk. But in my case, what, what happened to me was mayroon akong, you know, I have a, a little boy. And uh, and I was raising him, and and now I have three boys, right? So just imagine if I didn't, uh, 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 you know, quickly made some decisions and the right decisions. If they didn't work harder, then kawawa naman yung uh, pamilya ko, kawawa naman yung mga bata. So that that is uh, those those are the three oh, guys that I'd like you to think about because again, I don't want you to get into trouble. <laughs> okay, entrepreneurship is very exciting. It's like a roller coaster. There are many ups and downs. That is the reality of it. Just be ready. If you are prepared, if you have plan A, plan B, and of course, if you know when the customers and clients are, uh, when and how are you going to get your clients and customers, it will be so much easier. Okay? Again, thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, please click the subscribe button below. And if you are watching this on Facebook, click like and share. Have a great day. Bye-bye.